All right, folks, Sega Sonic fan here. We have some very excite times upon us. Very excite times! Because while I may be called Sega Sonic fan, I might also be called Success Cotton fan. What we have here is the deluxe Japanese version of Cotton Reboot for the Nintendo Switch. The first official Cotton release, not counting the Pachinko game, since 2000 since Rainbow Cotton in 2000, which means this is the first real cotton game in 21 years. 21 years, folks. Very, very exciting. Got it from Play Asia here. Packed seemingly quite well with a fragile sticker. And as I've said before, I will say again, cool things come from China. This is straight from Hong Kong. And let's go ahead and just open it. Oh, I'm so excited. So for those that might not be aware, I used to own every single official Cotton release. Again, minus the Pachinko game for PS2, which came out 2000-something. Uh, I used to own all of them, and they were not cheap. Boy, they have not gotten any cheaper, that's for sure. Uh, I had to sell them when I was down on my luck and my cash, which was very heartbreaking. But... Um, have slowly been rebuilding the collection and by the way I should be using my box cutter but it's hard to get to right now and hopefully this won't damage anything nope there's good padding in there so uh, yeah I'm a huge 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 cotton fan ever since I first played the uh, the first cotton game I ever played was the Neo Geo Pocket Color Cotton because uh, I got a Neo Geo Pocket Color in upon release actually at a store called Fry's Electronics, and I found out that Cotton was the only shoot 'em up game, the only side scrolling shoot 'em up on the system. So I had to get it because I love shoot 'em ups. What I didn't know is that it was part of a series that has been around for a very long time since 1989. Uh, 89 or 91, I think the arcade one actually dates back to 89, the first game. And, um, yeah, when I, f when I uh, learned about the other games in the series, I instantly fell in love with it. I have no idea why, but there's something just incredibly fun about playing as a cute little flying witch shooting bad guys. Um, I know there's that term cute em ups that is applied, which, um, you know, seems relevant. But uh, something specifically about the sort of whimsical fantasy world that Cotton has, and some of the, you know, sometimes it has like, these like darker elements, which are really cool too. It's kind of a mix, you know, it's not just like, um, uh, what's that game? Like, like um, uh, what's the, like Twin Bee, like the Twin Bee series, which is just like nonstop candy and, you know, stuff like that. Uh, Cotton's got kind of a cool mix of like eerie and cute. Anyway, I could talk forever about why I love cotton, but we're here unboxing this. Wow, this is a, quite a big box. Um, packed seemingly quite well. Looks like we've got, oh no, we've got some sort of poster type thing that uh, was not packed well, actually. It's the sticker sheet! Oh man, this was not packed well. It's all crinkled and... Nah, not super happy about that. But it is a sticker sheet. And it is cool looking. Um, not much to say beyond that. It's stickers. Looks like they're, they're definitely die cut stickers. And yeah, the print, print looks very nice. Um, boy, I wish that was packed better. Okay, well, let's see if the other stuff survived. It is coming halfway around the world. Looks like we got our Play Asia invoice type deal, which I'll just set aside. Um, oh, it's a mask. Looks like they sent a mask that you can like. Yeah, that's kind of cute. Little anime person. Little mask you can make. And here we have Cotton Reboot, the deluxe Switch version. What a beautiful box. Wow, what a beautiful box. I gotta say, this box alone makes me feel like I did the right thing, paying extra for the deluxe version. What a beautiful box. 
Wow, I mean, this thing is even larger than a Neo Geo shock box. I mean, it's just huge. I like, look at that, big box. And the artwork is really nice. Super crisp. Wow, gorgeous. It's gonna look really nice on a shelf, look at that. That is cool. Oh, cool, and there's something else too on the top. Cotton Reboot, limited edition, 2021. Gotta get your limited edition spiel in there. Looking at the text on the back, seeing if there's anything that stands out. Pretty interesting stuff. Kind of curious what this is at the bottom. Like gender, both genders can play it. I don't know, that's kind of cool. I don't know what that's all about, but it's cool that's there. And we've got, uh, maybe that's like a company symbol or something. It looks like there's a website, so I could go there and find out later. Works for Nintendo Switch, Nintendo Switch Online, and then there's a bunch of stuff in Hitagana and Kanji that I can't read. This, of course, is Koton. Ko, and then To, and then N. And the little, uh, this is one of the y, 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 A or Y, U, the Ya makes it for a, a longer um, koton, uh, kind of extends it. It's a little, little bit of katakana that I do know, which is embarrassingly little, but um, yeah. Anyway, let's go ahead and open this. Hopefully you're all bearing with me. I'm sort of savoring this instead of making a super quick video, as you can probably tell by now. I like that there's just a little bit of tape here, so I don't have to go damaging the box by trying to use my sharp blades on the wrapping. Oh, I'm so stoked. I waited so long for this too. I mean, you had to pre-order this like a long time ago. I forget when exactly, probably October or something. So four, four months ago, maybe, maybe, maybe more than that. And let's see, how can I... How is this put together? Ah, okay, there's a, there's a wrap here. I wonder if this was actually done by PlayAsia. Kind of makes you wonder which, which parts were the, uh, the manufacturer and which parts were PlayAsia. Um, I know, uh, what is it, Nini does the, uh, does the other deluxe version. So this is the original deluxe version. That was the first one that was announced. So of course, me being a cotton fanatic, I bought this immediately. Um, however, after this came out, another deluxe version came out, which you can get from Beep and from uh, Strictly, whatever that site's called, Strictly Limited Games. Um, and uh, the Strictly Limited Games versions are usually come with more stuff, which is really cool. And I sort of have a little bit of FOMO, a little bit of like, did I miss out? But... Um, but honestly, I you know, there's no there's no helping it. Of course I was gonna buy the deluxe Japanese version as soon as it was announced. And, you know, maybe I missed out, maybe it'll be like a keychain or something later. But I wanted to get this one because for sure when I saw it came with the teacup, I had to get it. I used to have the Panorama Cotton for Mega Drive fully mint with the teacup and the box that the teacup came in. Like that was my pride and joy, and I had that for so long. Um, very heartbreaking when I had to sell it. Um, and that teacup was super cool. Okay, this is really cool, folks. Um, look at that awesome box. They, they, they pulled out all the stops. Even got a pentagram on the side. Oh, that is so cool. Wow, they really, they really wanted to make this a treat. So cool. Okay, so Beep, Beep is, is the manufacturer, I guess, the distributor, the main distributor. And then Play Asia is just the reseller through Beep. Um, I'm on the Beep emailing list, by the way. If you ever want to like see all the things you you can't afford that'll make you drool, you should get on the email list. They have so much good stuff, but it's all so expensive. Like they just announced uh, a 75th anniversary uh, OST collection for for Sega, um, and it's like or not 75th anniversary. Is it 75 years since Sega was founded? Anyway, it's a, it's an anniversary collection. Um, of music and it's very expensive like three times the cost of a cd you would normally buy in the stores here wow this feels so deluxe 
very cool. I wonder if there's any major differences between the the packaging here and the the sleeve packaging. Looks like some of the there's a couple of different screenshots. Maybe there's one different screenshot. It's a couple of differences. Nothing too major though. It's very similar to the backing of the the main sleeve there. Let's see what other goodies we have in here. It's like Christmas right now. This is so cool. Christmas in March. And this was the other reason I had to order this sucker. I love me some game soundtracks. I used to have the uh, the Cotton soundtrack that uh, Sega produced as well. And um, it was terrific. And wow, this looks nice. And of course, you got to have your Obi. Can't live without your really expensive Obi. Wow, really great art though. I mean, they didn't they didn't cheap out, right? So one of the things these like limited things will do a lot is they'll they'll just copy and paste the same artwork on everything. And you'll see here there's there's different artwork all over the place. Like they didn't have to do that. They could have just made the CD the same artwork as this, not paid an artist to make more artwork. But they went the extra mile. They could have not had a fancy box. Oh my god, this is embossed as well. You can actually feel the texture. Um, these are bubbled like bubbled up a little bit. That is so nice. They didn't have to do that, right? They could have just made it the same art as this copied here or just a empty, you know, blank black or white box. This is so cool. Comes with the X68000 uh, music on here as well, it says. Since that's the only thing I, I know how to read. Um, well, I guess we got, you know, I love that. I love that home has two exclamation marks. Very excited to be home. And clear, clear has two exclamation marks as well. That's that's more exciting when you clear the stage. Ah, oh, this is so cool. Compact digital disc. Oh, I'm super stoked to listen to that. What do we have here? Ah, oh, we have the arcade marquee stickers and ads from the original arcade game. That is cool. Look at that. That is so cool. Of course, I got to get an arcade cabinet to like display these. And there's the poster as well. I'm gonna save that for a second. I wanna I wanna see this teacup, but I'll open this open this in a moment. I got like a whole bunch of <laughs> spread out goodies over here. This is great. So far, very pleased with this. Not at all regretting how much money I spent on this, uh, which was at first I thought way too much, because um, it was I think after shipping about ninety dollars for this whole set. It's not cheap for a game, but here we have it. Dun, 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 dun. The teacup. Let's see how good the teacup is. Hopefully it lives up to the hopes and desires of this gamer. I'm gonna very carefully get this lip up without tearing any of the cardboard because I'm a weird collector like that. All right. I've got probably uh, Warnings for like washing it or something before use, I'm guessing. Of course, nicely packaged so as not to break it. I think it's probably ceramic. And look at this! Oh wow, this is nice. Really solid, actually. Um, yeah, this is cool. Very cool. I like that they added this extra accent at the bottom that actually is quite nice. And I think is actually closer to the, uh, the video game sprite art. This is, I gotta say, I hate to say it, this is actually better quality than the, than the Panorama Cotton one. Um, Really weighty, really nice. Oh, I'm gonna have so much fun just like drinking tea in this and feeling like I'm winning at life with my cotton teacup. And if anyone comes over and sees me drinking tea with this and knows what this is, they'll instantly get cool points. Of course, nobody will. They'll be like, why do you have this weird looking teacup? Oh, this is so cool. Oh, I'm so excited for that. Got the teacup. And uh, I guess the last thing, I guess I could open the switch case. Although that won't be as exciting, I'm sure it'll just be, if we're lucky, we'll have a manual. But we have this still. 
It's a lot of stuff you get in this deluxe version, I gotta say. So, I, you know, I got the deluxe Freedom Planet, which I unboxed in another video. You can actually look in my uh, playlists. I have an unboxing playlist. And I'm gonna do one next on my uh, CDX. I actually have a box CDX that I'm gonna show off. But um, I gotta say, this one, this one so far is topping the Freedom Planet one. Even though the Freedom Planet one did come with three CDs, which was pretty awesome. This is high quality stuff, folks. What have we got here? Wow, this is really thick uh, for a marquee. And it's got these adhesive strips. You can remove those. And on the back as well. Oh, it's so you can fold it down and then have it be like a standing marquee on your desk. That is super cool. They didn't have to do that. They could have just made it be an arcade marquee and call it a day. But they actually made an option for folks that don't have an arcade cabinet. That is so cool. Oh, exciting. Exciting! And I guess it's probably different from the original arcade release marquee because it says 2P right there. I don't, the original arcade game was not two-player. Um, as far as I know. I used to have it. I don't remember it having a two-player option. The Sega 16 PCB is what it was. The old 68K-based Sega arcade hardware. We've got our... Uh, explanation of the game functions of the the on-screen display I always thought it was funny they it's almost like they on they purposefully make these drawings like kind of janky <laughs> like that's a finger pushing down a button a hand it looks so janky but I think it's partly intentional to give it that old 90s arcade feel um, could be artwork copied from the 90s too. I guess I don't I don't know. I don't have I never had the the, the actual artwork that came with the motherboard for the arcade. Very cool. And look at this beefy booklet. This is, this is nice. And in fact, I'd like to point out um, it is it's bigger than the switch case for sure. So um, it's not super tiny like some of them are. Full color. Wish I could read all this, but uh, it's super cool to look at because it's full color and has all the enemy sprites and art. Very cool. Look look how cool that guy looks. Wow. Guys, this is... I want to tell you I'm surprised that Success did this, but I'm not. Um, all of Success's games are just above and beyond and uh, I wish I had my cotton collection here to show you how all their releases are always wonderful um, and they, they just do stuff like this they put in all sorts of extra care and attention into this because for them I think cotton really is it's a labor of love and it shows it really shows wow how beautiful Oh, look at this. They've they've got color themes based on the, the layout, based on the type of stage. So now you're in like the the uh, volcano stage, kind of underground lava volcano stage. It's a really good stage, by the way, in the original game. And uh, so now they've the palette for the actual background of the page changes color to this kind of pinkish orange. And you've got the the dragon boss there. Oh, so cool. It looks like they've. Uh, redone some of Cotton's sprite art and the cloud art as well, which is really cool. Oh, I can't wait to play this. That'll be part two when I boot it all up. But this is so cool. Hopefully somebody translates this. Gosh, that would be nice. Let me uh, lower the, uh, the brightness here so you can see the booklet a little better, hopefully. And there's a lot of text. <laughs> I'm not sure what this is all explaining. Oh, this is history, because we've got Cotton here, 1991. This is like the full history of, uh, of Cotton Games. At least that's what I think it is. Or, oh no, this, is, this might be interviews. That's what this is. This is interviews with the developer. Oh, that's so cool. I, I, someone really has to translate this. Please translate this. I will, like, trade you something to translate this. Um, if you if you're a person watching this video and you can and are able, that would be so cool. I do have a friend who um, who speaks Japanese and might be able to translate part of it for me. I can't ask him to translate all of this though. So cool! Wow, 
the pentagram on the back. Very, very nice. So this is all, that's all the deluxe version. You get all that with, uh, do a, do a recap. You get the embossed box that it all comes in. You get the large sort of, um, sticker sheet. It's not really a sticker sheet, but it's, a uh, you know, functions of the arcade game kind of thing. You get the really nice booklet. You get the marquee, which can be folded and turned into like a regular tabletop stand marquee thing. You get the kick-ass looking soundtrack, which I will definitely listen to soon here with original artwork on the cover, which I think is super cool. They did not have to do that. And of course the OB. And then you get the, uh, the sleeve it all comes in, which is like twice the size of a Neo Geo shock box, basically. It's very cool. You get the game, of course. You get the the sticker sheet, which was damaged, unfortunately. Oh my, maybe I'll email them about that and see if they can send me another one. Um, but, last but definitely not least, you get the super cool, very nice quality tea mug. I'm very happy with this, folks. I, I was worried that these were going to be kind of like cash grab, you know, not great quality. Uh add-ons, you know, for the deluxe version, but nope, not the case. Good quality stuff. I'm going to go ahead and just open the game just for completionist sake, though doubt there will be as many goodies, but we will find out. Um, we will find out shortly. And because I'm a weirdo, I'm going to do this really carefully and save the plastic around the game. Because I do that. I'm a crazy collector, folks. I am so stoked for this. And, uh... I used to own the X68K version, the original. Which, by the way, for those that don't know, and maybe people have different opinions on this, but I think the X68K version is the best. Like, they took the arcade one, as far as the original ports, they took the arcade one and really revamped it for that one. And it played amazingly, and it also had extra cool features, like the, the keyboard would light up to the songs in the X68K version. They pulled out all the stops in that one. It's very cool. And um, I'm stoked that this is a this is a reimagining of the X68K one. I would love to see, I mean, Panorama Cotton and Cotton 100% on the Famicom, Super Famicom, uh, Mega Drive and Super Famicom, respectively. Those are, those are my favorite in the series. Um, but we seem to, we seem to only get remakes of the original game, um, which I'm not complaining because this is, this looks awesome. This is probably going to be amazing. Uh, but I very much enjoyed, um, the Mega Drive and Super Famicom ver games that came out that are totally original and really, really wonderful. I also, this will be blasphemy to some folks. I actually really like and enjoyed, uh, Rainbow Cotton. I think Rainbow Cotton gets a really bad rap, and speaking of rap, as I'm taking off the plastic here, I think Rainbow Cotton's terrific. Yes, the controls are crappy and almost ruin the game, but if you can kind of get over the, the, the control difficulty, um, which I hope somebody just writes code for, makes a patch or something, but you know, if you can get used to those wonky controls, it's actually a kick-ass, terrific game. Um, and then looks like we have here just a little... Uh, instruction card, but we do get more original artwork. Really cool. <laughs> Thumbs up from the uh, the fire dragon that uh, is your, your special move, your special uh, attack. And of course the willows. So for those that aren't already aware, the reason Cotton is fighting all these monsters and stuff uh, is not to save any kingdom or anything like that. It's because she wants to get her favorite candy, which is the willow. It's super cute. Um, she inadvertently saves the the fairy kingdom, but it's not it's not her goal. She loves candy. She is a candy fanatic for the willows. And um, there's all these great cutscenes that show that in the various games. Wow, how cool! All right, folks. Well, hopefully this video is interesting to some of you, um, and 
if you're a Cotton fan and you have the means, I, I definitely recommend. You can check out Strictly Limited Games for their uh, their version, which is supposed to have even more stuff than this, which is hard to believe and seems kind of a uh, wild. Um, there was one version that was quite a lot of money. I want to say like $160 that came with all this plus like a keychain and I think maybe another art book or something. Um, I had already ordered this one and a friend of mine, if they're watching this, talked me out of it. <laughs> they were like, <laughs> they were like, uh, save your money, dude. Uh, so probably, probably a good call. I don't know. I'm really happy with this. Um, if there's a couple other items, that'd be cool to get someday. But um, this, this is sweet. This is really cool, and what a treat. What a treat. Uh, so, yeah, hopefully hopefully you enjoyed this video. Feel free to leave comments. I love reading people's comments and stuff, and uh, especially fellow Cotton fans. And uh, I'll be posting on the uh, Shmups forums, uh, for those that don't know. Uh, shmups.net is the forum that's been around since the 90s, uh, talking about video games that are shoot 'em ups there's a great cotton thread on there and you can find me there if you want to chat about this stuff that's it for this video have fun playing cotton this is success cotton fan signing out